I'm Kim and I have been on home parental nutrition for nearly nine years now. And my name's Peter and I'm Kim's partner. Uh, it's the only pump I've ever used, so nearly nine years. The nurse was showing me, so I would be watching her set it up each evening. So you just learn naturally, but she was intended for me to learn and, and train me up. No, absolutely not. It goes in my backpack and that's where it stays. No, it's never been, it's never used the kind of the case that sits on the drip stand. It doesn't go in there. It just goes into my backpack. Pete does the preparation in that he spikes the bag for me and does that bit because that's just really fiddly and I think it takes away 50% of the process which I find boring because you do it day in day out. So Pete does that bit, my end, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe and then 15 in the morning to disconnect. I think it's probably half an hour in total up yeah. to, to set everything up in the evening and connect I think probably. Yeah. Tons I too. Yeah. It's really bizarre, you're constantly, up. for me, 15 hours, I'm going, okay, so it's four o'clock this afternoon, so I go four, five, six, seven, so I, if I connect now, I won't be off till seven o'clock in the morning, so I'm constantly working out what 15 hours is. So I roughly get on about six, don't I, in the evening? It is a consideration it's, as well, if you've got plans for an evening, you usually yeah. sometimes have to connect later, but then it stays on a little bit longer. You, I mean, in an ideal world, it would probably be the same connection time every day, but in real life, that's not that practical, but as long as you've got that infusion period in, you, again, yeah. it's something you make adjustments for. If we're out for an evening, then it will go on mm -hmm. late, but I know it will take longer to disconnect in the morning. But if I need to be up early and, you know, the following morning, I'll just connect early that the day before. With regarding connections, disconnections, never cut corners, never try and save time. Again, it, 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 again, it's, it's infection, infection prevention. Again, just don't cut any corners. If you, even if you're in a rush, that's the time you need to spend doing it. So, never shorten that. Yeah, I think that's that's true. It, just you, regardless of where you are, or if you're in a rush, you have to still do that kind of process that you were trained to do. There's nothing you can. I think it's the bare minimum anyway. So there's nothing you can kind of hop over and kind of cut out you need to do it be able to do it all this bump has kind of kept me alive for nine years isn't it um it's just i think with my lifestyle it's robust and it's it's handled everything it gets lobbed in my bag every every evening and it's just it's taken a battering and it's still going strong. <laughs> it really has. Um, but it's light, it's, it's small, it, it gets put in the bottom of my bag. It's quiet. Um, it, yeah, it, it's just, it's easy to use. And I, 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 yeah, I, I love it. I always have them. It's reliability as well. Yeah. You know, you, I, it's, it, there's so many things to think of and consider when you're dealing with uh, HPN, whether it's traveling, especially with traveling as well, if we're away somewhere, you've got so many things to worry about and to yeah. take with you. If the pump, you think, oh, I hope that pump is going to be reliable. We, we don't have to think about that. It's reliable. We know it. So it's... Don't even think about it. It's, do one, yeah, it's one thing you don't have to think about. Just, but it's really bizarre because <clears throat> we had this conversation, didn't we, a couple of weeks ago. And I think it was on the sofa in my bag and it was flashing away. And we were watching a movie and I remember saying to you, it's really bizarre that we don't take into consideration what the pump does. So if, if this, I can go to sleep at night, not giving it a thought that this pump, if it wasn't reliable, if it let air through, what is it? 20 centimeters of air or something, you'd be a goner or you'd be in some serious trouble. I don't even have to give it a thought. You just, it completely has everything covered. Mm -hmm. It's, it's really bizarre that that just keeps me alive. You know you can sleep, it will do what it's about. Yeah, and it will let me know if it has a problem. Yeah, and you can keep it clean as well because it's just, it's just easy wipeable and 
I think it's easy. And I like the feature that you can just, every time you turn it on, you can just say repeat. So you can just repeat what you did the day before because predominantly my, your TPN doesn't change. Your program is what your program is until your kind of prescription's changed. So it knows I've got to infuse that amount over 15 hours, keep it the same. But I always said, I think patients need an element of control. And so they need to be able to, you know, program it themselves. Because if they can do that, then they can understand if there's a problem wrong. If they haven't got, if they're not given the ability to learn about the pump or to program it, then you're taking away their ability to know what's happened if something was to, to go wrong. But training is important. Again, if you've got something like that, we all take for granted the very complex functions of our, our phones. We, we, we do that every day without thinking about it. And if you're handed that, if you, if you handed a phone for the first time, it would be a very complicated thing to use. But this, with this very small amount of training, it is intuitive and it, it's comfortable to use. I think because I'm connected for 15 hours, it has to live up to what we would have planned for the evening. So it's not going to be sat on the drip stand and wrapped in bubble wrap. So it it gets thrown at the bottom of my, my bag and it comes it comes out with us, doesn't it? So if we are in, you know, in the car or we go out to the theatre or the cinema or around friend's house. The fact <laughs> that it's so mobile, it helps us, it facilitates the things we want to do in our lives. It doesn't mean if, if something was bulky and had to be on a drip stand, it would mean you literally can't go out. You are tied to that stand. I've been tempted to kind of be connected while I get out on the horse early in the morning, but no, I know it's not sensible. So I would <laughs> if I was allowed. No, I haven't, but I've done, I've rock climbed. Oh, I won't go on my horse or my bike, but I'll rock climb. Yeah, I have gone down abseil down the cliff and then kind of camped out on the cliff camping um, like a hammock while I was connected that's the most um, out there thing I've done with my pump so far the pump itself is in my eyes perfect you, there's nothing you can change about the pump but the thing that you I guess the only thing that you could work on is user error isn't it and one of the big user areas out there is the battery because you do it with your phone, your watch, everything. You always forget to put it on charge. And if you forget to put it on charge, you don't have a spare battery. You're kind of, uh, then you are attached to the wall. So what is the difficulty is that when you switch it on, the only, it sounds really silly, but the only time you can see the percentages in the top right corner of the, that's the only time you can see the battery percentage. But when you switch it on, if it can come up with the screen, the you know, the one of the first home screens when it goes through its process is 20%. Oh no, actually quickly, I've got to put it on charge or I need to swap my battery. And when you turn it off, so you can see, oh no, it's only got 20%. I do need to charge it ready for tonight's infusion because there has been occasions where we've been sat at home and it's gone, doo -doo -doo, you know, oh no, I forgot to put it on charge or it has been on charge, but I just didn't switch it on at the wall yeah. or plugged it in properly so but if I had seen it I would have known and been able to swap that battery before we went out for instance you know so that would have taken away the user error and the only other thing I think would be a game changer would be if I could access what's on that screen on my watch or my phone if that could talk to my phone it would be huge because if I'm in a theatre and I'm, I think I can hear it beeping before I get up and shoot out. I can just look at my phone or I can see the battery percent or I can see, you know, is it still infusing? You know, you can just access what's on there. You take it for granted. So I'm really lucky that I got to go to the home care company and watch TPM being made. And I've been really lucky to go to your factory and see the insides of that, like the caterpillar in there. You just take it for granted. You don't know what goes on in there in order for your TPN to be infused. So, no, I've been really lucky to learn about it, but I think they're, they're superb. Faultless. I don't, it, it doesn't beep. I, I have a, a coat hook, isn't it? It's like a coat, coat hook. hook. Yeah, like a coat hanger that clips onto my bedside table and I just hang my backpack on there 
I don't know what position my pump is in. It could be upside down on its side. I don't know, but it never screams at me. The only time it screams, it screams at me is if I'm on my side and my line has <clears throat> gone round me about three times. And that's the only time it'll beep and then I'll unravel myself and it carries well, on. Effectively, it's the, it's the half of the whole HPN system. You know, it, that nothing else works without that. Um, the rest is, the ancillaries are effectively plastic tubes and plastic containers. That's the heartbeat of the whole system. So if you're, if you can rely on that, you know, none of us give much consideration to our heart. It's just a thing that pumps everything around. That does exactly the same. So you, it, it, testament to how good it is, is the fact that we don't worry about it. We just rely on it to do its thing.